Okay, let's go ahead and finish some of this up. Finish some of the waves. Kind of blending this in. going to come in and do a beach white sand maybe right there that blue the blue shadowing that I'm looking for now what I'm going to do is come in and put some seagulls in Be off in a distance. Maybe it's right underneath the moon. Maybe there's three flying off. Way off in the distance. Maybe here. Maybe here we got some palm trees. I'm going to go ahead and just use a palette knife and put them in a little roll of paint. I think I'm going to cut it in right here. it. 
there, but there's another one here. that and I'm going to come back in with a fan brush and pull it around. Pull it around. Get that round look. Just like that. There's the corner of it. thing on this one. Put too much paint on there, just wipe it off. Just tapping it because it sometimes has that look on the palm trees. fine look to it. It's got that rough look. And I thought maybe I'd use the same colors. But I think I'm going to go ahead and go with the green. Dark green. Then highlight it. I think gray is the answer. Shows up better at night. Like I said, I'm doing this one for Johanna. Dedicating the second painting to her. up the fan brush. Just coming in and tapping the brush of the palm trees. I found by doing that you get a different uh, get a different look. I kind of like it better than pulling it down. Because it's more individual. More of an individual look. Breaks it up better. Kind of makes it look more real. To me. I just keep loading. doing is tapping using the end of the brush and all kinds of neat things happening we even got some clouds coming through here now what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight it with some white
just here and there. Just here and there. Really kind of make that stand out. Little bit, little bit here and there. I'm going to come back and highlight some of the snow. Right on the edge. I mean, <laughs> not snow, the beach. Kind of looks like snow. doing is tapping it and kind of blending it back. So you got that sharp edge, but you it's not sharp all the way through. Kind of goes all the way back. Just like that. pull this down just a little bit. You can kind of keep coming along. keep hitting it. Right ever. Wherever you think. This thing's got to be a little bit straighter, I think. Just like that, I'm going to go ahead and sign this. And call it a completed painting. I do is sign my last name. Some people like signing their initials. What I like to do too is sign and put the date on or the year. That always makes it better to even see your progress as you go along and you can tell people what year, what day you painted it. Well this was a little different. This one's for Johanna, like I said. She's a special woman in my life. And uh, dedicated it to her. So I hope you're pinning along with me and I hope you come back and see me. Have a nice day.